I can't believe it's Christmas already, but in the spirit of giving, I'm going to be giving away one of the sets in this video. Sure, they might be cheap, but they're also pretty damn cool, and if you want a chance to win one of these sets, then just make sure you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, with notifications on, and then post a comment below with your favourite hero and skin for that hero. I haven't worked out which skin to give away just yet, but if you follow those steps, you'll be in the running to win, and I'll be announcing the winner by a post on my community tab in the new year in about two weeks from today. Make sure to check back on the community tab to see if you are the winner and to claim your prize. Anyway, because it's Christmas, I thought it time to treat myself to some nice new skins, but because I'm cheap, the skins I buy must also be cheap. So we're going to try and keep every single skin set to under $1. Now I've been playing a lot of the support role lately, so I set out to find myself some great deals, and I thought I would share with you some of the best skins that I've found for support heroes. Now I can't cover every support hero, but I've got five of the most popular supports in this video, and if you find this video useful, give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you want more videos like this, and what other heroes you want covered. Awesome, now first up we have Lion, who is probably one of the most popular support heroes of all time. Now I don't play Lion too much, but I do like to from time to time. Anyway, the first set is the Mythical Infernal Rambler. This set is pretty nice, and if you buy it in the bundle it comes with a loading screen as well, but the catch is that the set is $4.08. Now if you want this one for less than $1, you need to buy the parts separately. Now you can get the shoulders for $0.07, cents, the mantle for $0.11, cents, the helmet for $0.06, cents, gauntlet for $0.07, cents, and finally the scepter for $0.05 cents for a grand total of just $0.36, cents, which is an absolute bargain for this set. If you're not a fan of that one, then perhaps the rare, gruesome embrace set is more for you. I actually run a customised version of this one with an immortal headpiece called Horns of the Betrayer, which looks sick, but this one can't be traded or purchased until the 2nd of September 2020, as it was part of the 2019 International Battle Pass. Anyway, the Gruesome Embrace set for the standard version is a ripoff at over $14, but you can buy the inscribed version for only $0.24. Cents. Alternatively, you can save yourself $0.06 cents if you buy the items separately, but then you won't get the loading screen if that matters to you. Also, as a bonus, you can buy Lion's Taunt to Hell and Back for an extra 50 cents, which still keeps the grand total for either set under $1. Second on the list is Vengeful Spirit, who is actually my favourite and most played hero at the moment. She is also insanely strong in the 7.23 patch and is among the highest win rate percentages for every rank. The sets for VS are also pretty sweet, and I think the ones I've got here are really some of the best available. Take for instance the legendary Vestments of the Fallen Princess. This skin is absolutely amazing and the head and wings actually have three different styles that you can choose from, but I prefer the first option of each one. Now this set on the marketplace sells for around $4.60, but if you buy the parts separately, you can actually pick it up for just $0.69. Cents. Here I bought the wings for $0.06, cents, legs for $0.10, helmet for $0.48 cents, and the talent for $0.05. Cents. I actually run a custom version of this with the immortal shoulder piece Mournful Reverie, which you can pick up for just 26 cents and still be just under $1. This is an amazing set, and probably my favourite out of all in this video. Just have a look at the way she moves with those glowing wings on her back. Damn dude, and that stun effect with the exploding feathers is awesome. Definitely a highly recommended set if you ask me. The other set under $1 that I thought was really good was the rare Blessings of the Crested Umbra. The standard set on the marketplace is $13.93, but you can pick up the inscribed version for only $0.54. Cents. Buying the items separately for this one will save you another $0.20 cents and cost a total of only $0.33, cents, which is so good. Now you can also add in the Royal Raspberry Taunt for an extra $0.18 cents if you want to troll your opponents in lane. Ogre is another very popular support and has actually just had his Arcana released, which is really cool. The problem with this is that it will cost somewhere around $50, bucks, which is a little higher than my budget. So I set my sights on the marketplace and came across the kooky mythical Shoreline Sapper, which was given to players who finished one of the quest lines in the 2017 International Battle Pass. I thought it was pretty cool, and it even has some nice little sparkly effects from the flowers on the back, and also a bubble effect coming from the snorkel. These days it fetches about $2.10 on the market for a complete set, but you can pick up the items individually from the market for only $0.29. Cents. Here I bought the headgear for $0.07, cents, shovel for 6 the bands for 5 backboy for another 5 and finally the belt for $0.06. Cents. If you don't like that one, you could go with the Rare Ancestral Luck set, which is really cheap on the market at only $0.24. Cents. If you can be bothered, which I would because as I mentioned before I'm cheap, you can get the full set for $0.21 cents if you buy the parts separately. Fourth on the list here is Rubik, which I really like to play but I'm not very good at. 
Rubik also has some amazing skins and probably one of the best Arcanas in the game with the Mega Cypher skin. But again, I just can't justify spending that much money on a piece of digital art. Maybe one day, but for now, I've settled with the mythical Garb of the Cruel Magician set. This one is actually not very showy, but the simplicity of it really stood out to me and I like the dark colour scheme with the Rubik green dotted throughout. Also, the few bits of gold around the shoulders and the purple on the staff and on the back of the cloak I thought was really cool. This one you can pick up for just 60 cents off the marketplace. It also comes with a gem inscribed into each piece which tracks how many pro games you watch with Kuroki in them. If you want, you can also buy the items separately with the staff at about 5 cents, the mantle around 6 cents, hood around 39 and the robe for 6 cents which is 56 cents total. The other skin set under $1 which I thought was cool is the rare Rambling Fatebender. The colours in this one are very vibrant and the theme of the cards really stood out to me as pretty cool so maybe consider this one as well. The full set on the market is $2.53 but you can pick up the full set for only $0.47 cents if you buy the parts individually. With this one you can also add the Giddy Up Taunt for an extra $0.51 cents, which brings the total up to $0.98 cents, but then your set is complete. Now lucky last for this video is the Crystal Maiden, who is one of the all time favourite heroes in Dota. Now as a Queen of Ice, her skins consistently keep this as the dominant theme in the sets. I really like the Frost Avalanche Arcana, but this one again is way over budget, so here are two others that I thought were nice for under $1. First up is the rare Winter's Warden. Now I actually think this is probably the best one for CM, other than her Arcana and the Wyvern Legion from the Dota Plus Shard store as it's a bit different and transforms her into a warrior maiden. I really like the helmet with the wings on it and I think that the icy blue of her eyes really makes the set stand out and makes it pretty cool. This one will cost you about $4.90 for the standard set, but buying the items individually you can get the helmet for $0.23, cents, the arms for $0.42, cents, the mantle for $6, the skirt for $21 and the staff for $0.06 cents as well, which if my math is correct is about a total of $0.98, cents, just under our $1 limit. Another option you've got is the rare Glacial Magnolia. This one is pretty cool too and I especially like the mantle and cape in this set. This one for the full set is about $1.95 but buying the parts individually you can get them for a grand total of 77 cents. And that's it for 2019 Dota 2 Christmas shopping. This is the first time I've done a video like this so make sure to like it if you think it's good and post me a comment below if you want more with different heroes. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas this year and a Happy New Year. Lots of love from Defied.